Guys, welcome. Behind me is the food truck that we've recently completed for our friends over at Smoke and Barrels. In this video, you will get to see the complete build from start to finish. Enjoy it. So nine times out of 10, when I meet a customer, I have a very small amount of time to A, convince the customer that I can deliver what they want, and B, I need to pick all of the information out of your brain so that I understand fully what you want. Because if I'm gonna spend an hour with you, and you're gonna sit here and we're gonna chat about your job, then that's your time and my time that we're both using up. So I need to cram as much information at that one meeting as I can. I need to know the style that you like, certain colors that you like, how you envision your business to be, what you want from the project, how do you want other people to feel when they see that project, what's the wow factor for you? Because the wow factor for me may not be the same wow factor for you. So I have a very, very limited amount of time which I need to pick your brain and fully get it. So for me, I will have a meeting, we'll discuss the project, find out if it's something that A, I want to take on, and B, how we're gonna do it. When I pick the ideas from your brain, I'll make a Pinterest board. I'll share that board with you. So I'll put in ideas. There may just be a whole image, and in that one image there may just be one small part of that image that I like but I'll put them all in. This now enables you and I to both add and delete photographs from that board until we get to the point we've nailed it. When we've nailed it I'll give you a proposal and off we go. The van behind us is a catering trailer that a customer took in. Really nice trailer, looks like an Airstream van, beautiful, but it just lacked that something. We hatched a plan. Nine times out of 10, I will say to a customer, what is your budget? We have done so many projects for Colin in the past that he trusts me 110%. So he wanted something cool. I asked him if he had any specific things in mind that he wanted. He wanted some nice lighting. He wanted a nice sound system. People want the wow factor. The van is absolutely beautiful, but it lacked that extra piece. It was very bland in my opinion. There was not much going on. It's nice, it's clean, it's clinical, it's polished aluminium. It looks really, really cool, but that's it. There's nothing more, there's no color, no wow factor. So for me, I knew the only materials that we could use were polished aluminium and polished stainless steel. You need to keep that look. But how we break that look is we add in all of the logos. So all of the logos and all the details and all the little touches are gonna be done in matte black. Then, just to mix up just that little bit more, we're gonna put in colored lighting because the owners of the van and the business owners that run it are very sure in their mind of what they want and from prior conversations one of the things they wanted was to be seen and wanted to be heard from far away so we knew we had to add in a sound system and not just any regular sound system but we needed to add in a loud sound system with a lot of bass <laughs> So the driver of the van had turned a corner, cut it short, cut a brick wall, it scraped on the side of the van. Daily Grind's logo is round, as is Smoke and Barrels. Most of Colin's logos are round. So we, we based it on that. When they took the van here to be delivered, after we'd quoted the job, there's the damage. So now we had to be a bit creative. So in order to hide the damage, we need to look at how we could effectively cover that side of the van. And what we done is we deconstructed his logo. So instead of having a round logo with Smoke and Barrels running around the contour, We've took the text out. The text's gonna be at the bottom, smoking barrels. We've cut it in stainless steel. We're gonna weld some edging on it, put some lighting in it, and have the logo in the front, and that'll hide the damage. So basically, what I want to do is I need to find out how I'm gonna mount this to the van. Well, Sean's obviously put the lights on, so I'm kinda stuck as to where I'm gonna put the brackets. We'll put one here, one here, one here, one here, one there, one there there one there and one there so what i'm going to do is take us to the van and then mark the van where i'm going to put the brackets if i line that up it's going to show me where the sign's going to sit so we'll put a bracket there somewhere there this is just a rough marking just so that i make sure that when i put the brackets on i'm in between where the lights are so that i don't hit a light when i try and push the sign on one here one there, one there, one there, one there. This is how I know where to put the brackets now. So like one there, one there, one there. So I'll cut some angle, I'll screw it to the van. And then once I've done that, 
we'll drill a hole for the cables, we'll put the cables through, then that's us, we're good to connect it up and see how it looks. Welcome to Luxus, where you can never find batteries for tools. So basically I just need to drill it now. Solid. We've put that sticker on there just as a template, so I know it'll sit perfect. Ordinarily, we wouldn't use a sticker, but because we're trying to hide damage on the van, we needed to make sure that the sign was gonna completely cover where the damage was. So it kills two birds with one stone. It gives us a template where to put it, and we can see it's gonna do what it's meant to do. Because the van's only made of aluminium, we can just use what's called a self-tapping screw, which, when you use it like that, it drills its own hole at the same time. So it cuts into the metal, drills its own hole, and then away we go. Far easier, far quicker. So basically, once the sign's on, then we'll pop rivet it to the van, and then we'll clear silicone around the whole sign. And that's it, job done. Light it up. What I'm gonna do is just see how it sits on here. 42 and a half. 42 and a half. I'm the boy. So I need to look on the back of the sign where the cable sits, drill a hole right through the van. We'll pull the cable through, then I can properly fix this on, silicone it, and then that's us. So now, mission accomplished. How does that look? I think that looks alright. So what we've designed is some neon accents to light around the van. Going to make the floor glow underneath it. We've designed 3D lettering of the name of the company. It's going to sit on the roof. When they get to site, it's going to stand up with linear actuators. So, obviously this is something completely different, something new. This van was never intended to have this lettering attached to the roof. Yeah, I'm glad you could join us, mate. So yeah, so like what I was saying before, this vans, they were never meant to have lettering like we've put on top, let alone stainless steel's lettering that weighs a fucking ton. So Sean and I have devised a method of making them stand up and retract. This here's a linear actuator. How it works is there's a motor in here, there's a gearbox here, and there's a worm gear inside here. So when this is turning, it extends and retracts. It's exactly the same as a hydraulic ram, except it's electric. And it's exactly what we need to make this sign pop up and retract back. So, I mean, these are pretty strong. These are lift, what, 150 kilo, 152 kilo each. So the boys at Gimson Robotics, I've used them before. They're really, really good. And they, um, they come up with a system for us. So we're just gonna look at a method on how we can mount it to the roof. A, so it's nice and strong, and B, so that it's weatherproof. So that's a plan for today. So basically, when I said to you earlier, when we're making hydraulic rams or the actuators on the roof, because they're electronic, they need to be protected from the weather. And although I think they're IP54 rated, which means that they're splash proof, but not totally waterproof. So what I've done is I've come up with a stainless steel structure for it that's gonna protect the ram. And basically that's gonna sit in the roof and the ram sits inside here.
Now, we've got a tool in the workshop called a press brake, which is a hydraulic press, and it'll bend metal. So what we've done here was, I know that if I draw a straight line between the points, which were here, I could then fold it into the shape that we needed. But basically, you can see the shape of it now, yeah? Basically, basically, basically. So A, this will fit, and B, I'll smash it if it doesn't. Easy. As the ram is extending, it moves up and down like this. So that allows for the movement. Now, although the rams are splash proof at 70 miles per hour, they're not waterproof because you get, you're getting obviously the force of the wind when they're traveling, plus the water, it'll just wreck it rams. So now this enclosure will completely cover it. Some of the ideas we've had, we're gonna put in a full cellular Wi-Fi system. You put a SIM card in that will be able to produce Wi-Fi for up to 200 connections at once. So up to 200 customers could be taking Wi-Fi off this van whilst eating food. Now, why would that matter? You and I know in this day and age, everybody loves free Wi-Fi. They don't want to use their data. They don't want to use the internet that they're paying for when they can use it for free. So whilst people are coming here to buy the food, which is spectacular from this van, they can get free Wi-Fi. We're gonna just completely pimp it up. It's one of these things, something is always possible you just need to imagine in your brain you need to execute it but you need to execute it well there's a very fine line between doing something nice and a tacky or b it just looks terrible it's, it, it, it's not you've not succeeded so so basically when we bought this electronic step for underneath a van although that thing is absolutely beautiful to look at it's totally not fucking practical they've skinned the whole underside of it with thin steel so there's nothing to bolt onto and it's all hidden. So what we had to do was plasma cut a huge steel sheet and find bits of the body that we could bolt it onto. And then we mount this onto the steel sheet. That's the plan. Whether it works or not is yet to be decided, but we'll soon find out. Where's my fucking dominoes? <laughs> Am I excited about dropping it off? Um, yeah, this bit's always good, like when you get to see the customer's first reaction. In the beginning, when I first started Luxus, I thrived on it. Like, I'm now at the point, like, I know every time I deliver, it's exactly what they want. And it sounds like a big headed thing to say, but it's not. We just always put in 110%, 110%. We always make sure we deliver what the customer wants, but we add some on. And it's good for my whole team. That's why I always, where possible, try and take my full team with me. Although it's Alan Smith Designs and Luxus, it's a full team. So without the full team, Luxus is not a thing. There's many of us and we're all parts of this well-oiled machine and everybody has their place. And when everybody does it well, it comes together really nicely. Yes, it's nice for the customers, but it's nice for the staff member to receive that praise also because on the next project, they know that they're appreciated and then they want to try that little bit harder. Is it stressful? Fucking right. Do we have a lot of late nights? Yes, but there's nobody that really does what we do. There are lots of companies that customize things. I would probably say we're on a league of our own in terms of the amount of machinery and skill set that we have. We have plasma cutters, laser cutters, CNC routers, powder coat ovens, spray booths, a team of upholsterers, a team of joiners. We can do electronics, we can do plumbing. We've got a whole printing division. And what comes with that is we don't need to outsource anything, which is absolutely fantastic. We design, manufacture, and install in-house. That is fucking cool. So anytime we make a bit of money off a job, instead of leaving it in a bank doing nothing, we'll buy a new machine. Because by buying a new machine enables us to do our job even better next time round. Get Watch him crash it now. Like... And crash it dinging around the corner. <laughs> Mate, I'd not envy you towing a trailer. Like, <laughs> wait till you see this thing. Fucking hell. You can beep that out later. <laughs> Jesus. Fuck me. <laughs> Shut up. Where can we plug it in? Because we'll need to plug it in and fire it up. 
Uh, I can plug it in, I've got everything in the house for it. 70 mile an hour with that thing's not fun, mate. Exactly. <laughs> Alright. It's fucking stressful. <laughs> wow. Mm. Fucking hell, you're not going to miss this, are you? No. <laughs> Even the tyres, eh? <laughs> uh, let's plug it in and fire it up, man. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Wait till you hear the sound system. The key fob should be on there, push it up, man. <laughs> it's bright, though, eh? Even the yeah, daylight. Wait till you see it at night time. That's unreal. <laughs> and it's still at half volume. <laughs> it was so loud, yes, the van man. was vibrating, was it? Looks killer, man, doesn't it? Wait till you see us at night time. Uh, How much does it glow at well, night? Well, when we do Dundee shows, this is exactly where we want to pitch it from in Dundee. Yeah, like, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? So that's the brightness, speed, and then if you push out, it's like different modes, so you'll get it so it can like, change itself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm blown away, man. I'm absolutely blown away. It's got so much character now, man. Obviously, you've got your sign here. Yeah. Hiding your big dent. <laughs> White wall tires. Yeah, I love them. Like, I'll show you how to turn the base up, but when you turn it up, that thing vibrates, does it? <laughs> the lid, you know, lid. Just we don't want that. The lid will literally does that. So you've got Google Play, so you, on the Play More, you can download Netflix, whatever you want, is all on this thing. Mad. So literally, if you're bored one day and you want to fucking watch a documentary, <laughs> bang on here. I'd say that was a pretty good reaction. Now we're time to try eat some of this food. What are you saying? <laughs> I'm fucking freezing. <laughs> <laughs> it is Baltic, mate. Let's try some of this food. Some of them. That looks ace though. Oh, it's not bad. This is a bit of a job that we didn't normally get to experience. What, to actually sit and enjoy something? Yeah, or, or sometimes you spend so long doing a job that at the end you can't be arsed because you spent so long on it. It's just like yeah. so many restaurants will come to us at the end of it and say, I come for food and I'm like, no. <laughs> I've been there for a year and a half. I could imagine, mate. Because how long have you been working on this now? I'd probably say we spent, what do you think, Son? 10 days? 10 days, yeah. like properly. Don't mess about though, do you? I don't like doing things in half. And as I always said it, like I said it earlier on in the video, that sometimes when a customer like comes to you and asks for a job, well, if you only deliver what you say you're gonna deliver, then that's not you, mate. No, but meeting expectations is all right. Yeah. But for me, I always like to have that little bit extra so if customers like, Every single that. job you've ever done for us, whether it's with the coffee shops or the barber shops or the trailers, there's always something special. It has to be, because yeah. You always get beyond what you what you think you're going to get. Because you need my expectations are high now. Because right. you've done so many so jobs I'm going to have for me. To get higher on the my next expectations one. are already high, and so, you still managed a couple of things and just blow me away. What's next in the uh, Colin world? What's next in the plan? The next tour. Next tour. What is it? Next tour. Pizza. A pizza truck. Pizza truck. Wood That's fired. Got a wood fired pizza truck. Wood fired pizza truck. And we've got the the next barber shop as well. Yeah, that'd be pretty which cool. Which you've got to come and see and measure up because. You've done bits and shops in the barbershop side, but not done a full a full work from scratch. Yeah, and I cannot imagine. I think I, 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 I what we'd the, end up coming up with for me, given free reign on a barbershop. I love the design aspect is what I love, and I think well, I always study a job. So yeah. the best part for me is meeting a customer and spending this little half an hour just yapping, being like, "What makes you tick? Yeah. What do you like? What do you not like?" Well, that's the thing about you because you know what I like now. You only get a small period of time between meeting somebody and A, getting a job, or yeah. B, landing it. Yeah. So like for yeah. me, it's good to just get that initial conversation, start a wee Pinterest board and just... That's it. You've got so many questions that you want to draw out of somebody's brain in a small period of time. And your brain works different ways. Uh, my <laughs> brain works completely different to everybody's. Um, Jesus. But I always tell my guys, like, never ever deliver just what you say you're going to deliver. Sure. Like, you have to deliver over and above. That's what stands you guys out though, isn't it? Pizza truck next, mate. And what are we going to put in it? It'd be quite cool if it was self-sufficient. Like, well, if we thought of a way of making the van... Yeah, so there's no LGB gas, no, no, LPG nothing. gas as such, or generators, no, if no, need no, be. No. If we can make it so it's like self-sufficient, runs off itself, yeah. you don't need power lines, you don't need anything, it just yeah. goes. Yeah. But still smooth with all your technical stuff that you do with oh, things tech, open. Tech's a must. It's 2021. Remote controls and iPads right. and this and we that. Need it. We need it. We need it. We need Alexa, it. Alexa, make the pizza. That's. Uh, <laughs> I'll be next on the cars. <laughs> Alexa, make me. the pizza. So, what's your favourite bit of the van? You know what? 
it's hard not to see the lights on the top. I know what you're going to so say. Striking. The step, the step. It's the step. <laughs> you don't understand. We've had this thing, and it looks good as standard, right? But nothing like what you've done. It's. Uh... But we've went through so many steps and broken steps. I've forgotten to bring the step in. Depending on what terrain you're setting up on, it is a hike to get in the back of that fucking thing. So I said, uh... Alan, I want a step, but it's got to be cool. It's got to come out of nowhere. It's got to have a button, you kind of stuff. And here you come with something that's just It's, it, it's one of them. It's like, it's, it's satisfying. You just push it, it and it pops out really yeah. fast. I mean, we did we did give Sean a bit of a meltdown. Like, <laughs> Sean, come and sit here and get into this video with us. Sean, come here. Here's a big man. Here's a man. So, so Colin basically How gave you. Grey hairs? Remember when he first came <laughs> yeah, and it, when he first came to us and he said, "Oh, I need a sign for the front of the van," and we thought, "Yeah, no worries, just a oh, around 600 mil sign." And then they decided to like polish the side of it on a brick. <laughs> How do you think the build went? I think it went well. It's going really nice. It's stunning, man. It's the most striking thing. You could put us in a field with a million other vendors. Yeah. It could be standalone like this. If you like, you do whatever, but it's it's more characteristic now. It's more us now. You know? How how many vans do you see that are just a bog standard square box yep. that you know the food might be amazing, but if you're not drawn to it in the first That's time, it. yeah. it's like a supercar. Yeah. yeah, it also lights up the area that they're standing in. Yeah, yeah. so they, they know it does. Be. I'd love to say that it was intentional that we meant to light up the whole street, but we never. <laughs> it's just one of them. It was <laughs> like a little bit of overkill, and it looks quite yeah. cool, and it stands out. We towed it in here yesterday. And when we finally pulled up in the van and started to take the catch the van off the, the trailer off to put it into this position, there was a woman that followed us. She followed us from the main road. I wonder what that is. And she just followed us the whole way until we got here and stopped. <laughs> and we kind of just went to put, are you? What are you doing? What are you here for? I was like, man, we've never had that before. We've had the van for about over a year, you know. And that's the thing. And as and I, I said, said in the video, like like, that, it's no, like, no disrespect to revival trailers. Like what they've designed is, a, is an awesome product. Yeah. But it just lacks Standard that. Dumping. It's just, it's nice to look at, but it just lacked that. It's got a bit of character now, is it? Yeah. A bit of extra character. Yeah, and that's what we've done. Right. That's what we've always done, you know. Right. So the next build, he wants us to do a pizza truck. Mm -hmm. So yeah. we'll have to knock our house together, come up with a plan for some sort of pizza truck, Very wood slick, fired. standard out, wood fired. It's got, yeah, it's got to be traditional. It has to be wood Jamie, fired. I mean, Jamie, well, you, you're a professional master chef. Jamie, he doesn't yeah, mess yeah. about when it comes to the menus and yeah. the food. and Everything's homemade by us, you know, so the sauces, the, the buns, it's not just bought in burger patties or buns, everything's like that. So it's again, with his pizza base and what he's going to do with it, it needs to suit a master chef winner, but at the same time be sleeking on brand of, of what we do. So oh, yeah. and now we've already set the limit with this thing, so, <laughs> <That's> we've, got <laughs> <to set. laughs> so we've got to go above it now. You've got to admit, if, if that's sitting next to this one, it's got to be just as bright, or you're going to get overshadowed, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah, but we'll come up with a plan and we'll smash yeah. it. It needs to be self-sufficient. Yep. I think that the, the the thing where I would fired oven as well would be the, the smell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that you would smell it cooking it probably far tastes more. Better as well, would it? Yeah. I like how I'm the only one still eating though, because I've been working on it. Uh, I would love to say I would love to I would love to say that we've never tried the food, but we just had about fifty plates of it prior to this meeting. Um, so yeah, I mean it's yeah. quite cool. I think we've smashed it. We've we've got everything yeah. that we wanted done. If all else fails and no one likes the food, I've got a nightclub on wheels. Because yeah. of the sound system that you put in it. So if all else fails, I think like come, I can do kids' parties, come, discos. Come video number 391 yeah. on the channel. We couple, might get them to buy my bus. <laughs> we'll, we'll persuade them to upgrade into a double-decker in the restaurant. Mate, don't tempt me. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. no, honestly, guys, thank you so much. You're welcome, man. A dollar. Nice Appreciate it, bus. man. Legends. Nailed yes. it. Ah. Right, name her filming because I am freezing. <laughs>